When testosterone made the cover of Time magazine a few years ago, the writer was careful to say the main potential danger of testosterone replacement therapy is the effect on the prostate gland, and it is this potential danger that this study was designed to address. Uh, despite many years of concern, testosterone replacement therapy may not carry the risks to the prostate commonly believed. With synthetic testosterone now readily available, many doctors quickly embraced the use of the hormone to treat the male climacteric as it was uh, referred to in this early paper. We now call this late onset hypogonadism. Uh, one of the early publications on this topic is shown right here, and it happens to be from JAMA in 1944. These authors observed that satisfactory results were obtained by intramuscular injections of testosterone. This condition, which may be, you may see referred to as andropause, uh, male climacteric, male menopause, viral pause, or ADAM, androgen decline of the aging male, uh, may be defined this way. It's the clinical reflection of an age-related decline in testosterone seen in up to 50% of men in the last third of life, it may be considered a physiologic extreme of the male aging process. The onset is insidious, gradually progressive, and most often recognized in the fifth or sixth decade of life. Its manifestations are a decline in bodily function normally maintained by testosterone, that is, libido, potency, mood, intellect, and also bone, muscle, and lean body mass. The treatment is testosterone replacement. Testosterone replacement therapy has many potential benefits, including its effects on libido, erectile function, energy, well-being, muscle mass, and the rest. But there are also potential concerns with testosterone replacement therapy, and the number one concern is the potential effect on the prostate, uh, which could be the most serious of all of these.